Alhamdulillah, wa salam ala Rasulillah, Ammar al-Shukri here. Now, this is my tor uh, torchbearer's testimonial. So when I had taken this class a number of years ago, and I know that everybody before they're like, listen, it's not a history class. Don't mention that it's a history class, but I want to flip that idea on its head. So what if it's a history class? Even if it was a history class, you know what? I hate when people say that they're not interested in history or that history is boring. You know why? Because history is one of the sources of your identity. If you don't know where you've been, how do you know where you are? How do you know who you are? And that's why, you know, the the, the grandchildren of the Sahaba, Ismail, the son of Muhammad, the, Sa'd, and the son of Sa'd ibn Abi Waqqas, he said that my dad used to teach me the seerah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he used to tell me that this is your honor and the honor of your fathers. So don't squander it, don't lose it. We learned from American history that one of the things that they used to do when they would bring slaves over, when they would bring free men over, but wanted to transform them into being slaves is that they separated them, they disengaged them from their history so that they could then reshape their identity. You see, so history has a really, really important effect as to who you are and who you see yourself to be in the world. And so when I took torchbearers, one of the things that I benefited the most from torchbearers, even more than the details of the scholars and their lives and the events that shaped their lives and any of that was just walking out of that class with confidence walking out of that class with dignity and recognizing that the Islam that I inherited, the Islam that I'm a part of, was able to produce such masters in human sciences, such people who, you know, created people like Umar Abdul Aziz and created jurists like Fatima Samarqandi and created people who were able to benefit their communities like Shah Waliullah Dahlawi. I remember I had met a young man who was of Somali uh, ethnicity or that's where he's originally from. And he mentioned that he was studying his PhD. He was doing his PhD on African history. And when I asked him why he picked African history, he said when he was in high school, and this was when, you know, uh, Somali pirates were all over the media. He said, one of the kids in my class, he asked me and he said, what has Somalia ever contributed to humanity? And he said, the question was hurtful, but what was more hurtful was that I didn't know the answer. And so he made that his field of study. You know, I had asked recently uh, a group of students in college, Muslim uh, students, I had asked them, like, how many of you think that identity is a problem? Like you feel uncomfortable with regards to your Muslim identity or that you feel that other people find it difficult to, 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 to feel comfortable in their, in their Islamic identity and the majority raised their hand. And so when you learn that, you realize that people need to know where they came from. People need to feel proud of what Islam has produced. And you know what? It's kind of difficult looking at the present. But when I look back, I'm able to see that Islam produced people like Umar ibn Abdul Aziz and Fatima and Shah Waliullah Dahlawi and Imam al-Qurtubi and al-Hazan al-Basri and uh, Baqi ibn Makhlad and so many others. And I just become inspired and I become confident. And that's what I got from torchbearers. When I walked out of that class, I felt happy and confident and dignified and injected with a whole lot of izzah. And so learning who you are the inheritors of or whose legacy you are coming after, that is an incredible source of pride. It is an incredible source of dignity and it is an incredible source of confidence for a community that is so in need of it. That the Islam that I'm carrying now was the same Islam that propelled them. And inshallah ta'ala, if I go back to it and if I trust it like they trusted it, it will inshallah ta'ala allow me and my community to be able to be bringers of goodness in every community and in every land that I'm in.